Continuing our series of interviews at the OpenStack Project Teams Gathering. This morning I'm talking with Treva, who works on a number of things around OpenStack. And you, you still uh, teach courses around OpenStack too, right? I do. I'm an OpenStack course author with Linux Academy and CloudAssessments.com. Um, my last course was the EX310K, which was the Red Hat OpenStack engineer. That was quite the endeavor, but I learned a ton and absolutely fell in love with Seth. And right now, we're actually working on integrating our OpenStack certified OpenStack administrator course with cloud assessments to give tailored training based on any type of gaps that you may have as far as OpenStack goes and as far as passing the exam goes. So tell me a little bit about what you worked on in the uh, Pike cycle. In Pike, I actually made my first OpenStack contribution to Magnum, and that was to solve an issue that we were having with our labs, Linux Academy, at work. Um, there was an issue with the API version, was still running version one in DevStack code, so um, to get our labs back online, I had to actually update some Magnum code and got my first contributor status. That led into making some other changes to PackStack, which is what I use for our deployments and um, integrate or adding a new couple new UIs and a couple other fun things and also making a lot of great connects with people on the RDO team. So rewinding just a little bit, what is Packstack? Packstack, that is a series of puppet modules that will install OpenStack either in a single node or multi-node environment. It's what I started with when I started learning OpenStack to set up my environment once I got past like sobbing for two weeks trying to do it manually. <laughs> But it, it's, um, it's a fantastic way to get either a POC or an actual live environment up and running. Now, what's involved in getting your first commit? So the first thing is finding a bug. Either identify the bug yourself or look through the launch pad for whichever project that you're interested in and find the bug that you're interested in working. You assign it to yourself and then you start digging through code. Start digging through code, you find the solution. The best thing to do to save yourself some headache is to test it in a local environment before you push it up to Garrett for review. And then once you push it up to review, the cores will review it, the code, to make sure that it's good. And you'll either get a plus two or a minus two. And if you get some pluses, then it's going to be pushed into whichever um, branch it is that you're trying to solve the issue in. I remember the, the first time being kind of intimidating because there's lots of lots of different steps that you can get wrong but uh, after that first time it's, it's a lot easier <laughs> well it gets easier yes um, being perfectly honest it's something I still struggle with I am NOT a git master at all and dear god don't ask me to rebase but um, it gets easier and there's tons of help all over the community you know, the OpenStack community is very open, very kind, very friendly, and they're also very interested in helping newcomers or anybody that runs into any struggles. Um, there's IRC, there's ask.openstack. You can even ask questions in your commit, and, some, and depending on what it is, someone will come to help you. Now, you also worked a little bit with containerization in this cycle. Tell us some about that. I did. I am... Um, Recently, I got involved with OpenShift a bit. I joined OpenShift Commons and fell in love with that project also. And there's been a huge buzz about OpenShift running in OpenStack. Well, what about the reverse of that? So I've been talking to like-minded people about potentially starting a project or maybe just doing a side thing for fun on running OpenStack in OpenShift. Going into the Queen's cycle, do you have anything in particular that you're thinking of working on? I definitely want to get more involved with Triple O, um, maybe scope in on Cola, and apparently I'm going to be involved in Swift, helping them with their documentation. Um, great guys, so much fun. Um, and also, with the RDO team, there's been an initiative to encourage new contributors to come in, help out with websites, the Easy Fix project, which I'm a huge fan of, so I've been promoting that a lot to our Linux Academy students. And they're, they're so excited. They're so excited about that. And that makes me, makes me excited because I love OpenStack and I love it when other people love OpenStack. So that's my thing. 
Is this your first PTG or what? Okay. What, what do you think about it? I thoroughly enjoyed my time here. I thoroughly enjoyed my time here. Um, I can see how it wouldn't be for everybody, but if you're interested in seeing some lively, passionate conversations from people that have been here from day one, all the way to people like myself who just recently got involved and just find out the, the deep inner working of deep inner workings of any project that you're interested in, definitely come. Definitely come. Definitely come. It's, it's um, I wouldn't say it's a once in a lifetime experience, but you can pick up a lot of great new information and meet a lot of great people, make great connections here. Well, thank you very much for uh, the time. <laughs> Thank you for bringing your friend. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. And, uh, thank you. I look forward to seeing you in the community in the coming years. I hope I'm still around in the coming years. I hope I can make some type of great contribution to OpenStack.